The entire galaxy found humans to be the oddest, strangest, and most peculiar creatures in the universe. Nothing they ever said or did made any sense. Ever. I recalled all the things these crazy apes did. I remember the time during one of their wars. A fractious species, the likes of which we had never seen much of before. They had fully told the rest of the galaxy they intended to wage a small skirmish, and that they were dead serious about nobody interfering, promising retaliation. They were slugging away in a backwater system when, out of the blue, a small civilian cargo ship burst into the battle from hyperspace. It cried out for emergency support. The human fleets in that battle, well known to be absolute mortal enemies, mind you, suddenly disengaged, then flew side by side to go help the crippled ship. After helping said ship and paying for the ship to be shackled and towed to a dry dock for repairs, the human fleets simply restarted their war music and resumed shooting each other. The humans outside the conflict simply laughed at it, and the rest of the galaxy spent the next few months with the phrase da fuk being the only thing ever said. Another scenario is when a human marine, one of humanity's warrior cast, single-handedly left an entire Sarantis infantry division to charge a Maragantis battle line. The crazy part was that it actually worked. Apparently, he was bored of being barked at by his sergeants. The Sarantes and Maragantes were two subsets of the same species, sharing a fractional line across two separate gene lines, and had come to blows in a mining dispute that had lasted centuries. If you want a human analogy to this, think of the Democrats and Republicans and their long-standing war. Both the same country, both the same kind of silly. They were a highly honor-bound traditionalist species that valued discipline and duty above all else. They held significant sway over the futures of the galaxy's body politic, but could for the life of them never settle any disputes, mostly using tactics and weapons that humans found to be archaic and suicidal thought few casualties were ever reported in their skirmishes. Battles between them would last hours, skirmishes would be months in between, and it would all be decided during the battles. Both sides held the equivalent of laser muskets and would fire a single shot at one another. They would then break formation and fight each other in singular combat until there was a victor. The humans apparently had long since dispensed with this practice and from what I hear actually had to stop themselves from laughing upon hearing it. There was in one such battle a human, not a marine per se, but rather a star pilot who crashed on the planet and in exchange for repairing his ship, was drafted to serve. The human marine apparently tired of the formation line and long-windedness of his commanding officer that he broke ranks, charged the Maragantis main battle line, and somehow made it to the end. He never fired a shot. He instead climbed up into the trenches and pounced on the enemy commander. He flipped open his helmet and screamed at the top of his lungs, Get me out of here! in the commander's face, then charged back to friendly lines. The sheer absurdity of the circumstance apparently traumatized the commander to such an extent he was later found wearing a bedsheet as a ceremonial robe, attempting to court-martial a snack cake for insubordination. The battle was concluded, and both sides saw to it that within a few days, the human had his ship repaired and off the planet. That commander apparently recovered from his psychosis, but never managed to get over his hatred of a particular brand of snack cake attempting to court-martial it for sedition upon ever seeing one. Other scenarios like humans drinking or eating things that they knew were either bad for them. While most species avoided poison, the humans consumed it for fun. Cigarettes, as I knew them, were an extreme toxin to most others, whereas humans used them for a mild sedative. Humans could withstand bullet wounds or plasma bolts and keep fighting without ever really even knowing that they were shot and only bothered to notice the wound or react to it when someone either told them about it or when the battle was over. We never understood humans. They were all so peculiar. Then one day a human did something that actually made sense. Ordinary day in the hab looking over a refinery control panel to check temperatures. My name is Wag, just Wag. Most other species can't be bothered or outright fail to an offensive degree to pronounce our names, so most others simply say the first part of them and call it a day. Our species are crab humanoids roughly the size of an earth horse. And I should know. I had the unfortunate pleasure of actually meeting one such beast in person. It did not go well. 
I sat quietly at my control panel at my place of work, an alloy refinery, blissfully unaware of what was about to transpire. A human, doing something that actually made sense. Marcus then barged in the door holding a data pad. A human. Even though he was about a foot shorter than I was, I have yet to beat him in close combat, just like all humans. Marcus was about average for a human, five foot nine, brown tuft of hair on his head, and a smaller tuft on his upper lip, skin that looked like he had been roasting in an oven. Wagafasticus incorporeum asteragonic utayata. Good morning to you. He barked happily and slapped a data pad on my desk. Good morning, Marcus. You seem somewhat delighted. An eye stalk on him, the other still looking at my job. Indeed I am. Got the reports in from last quota. We overperformed, which means we all get paycheck bonuses this month. See? He pointed excitedly at the data pad he had. Oh, excellent. I can visit my clutch back home early this year. I clicked my mandibles in joy and quickly disabled my work for a short break so we could chat. Yup, got a pub crawl planned for the weekend with the boys in janitorial. Interested? He asked. Oh, definitely, definitely, indubitably. I clacked my claws in happiness. Oh, uh, by the way, here. He handed me another data pad, a somewhat sinister grin on his face. What be this? It's a petition. It's been doing the rounds lately and it's already got six billion signatures again with that sinister smile. I read it. Petition for gww.change.universe slash reclass.net reclassification of species. Reclassification of species is an absolute necessity for most creatures as they slowly gain intellect and technology, or we simply discover a new thing about them. It is therefore we come to the following conclusion and ask changes be made to reflect this. We hereby petition that the creatures known as politicians be reclassified as a separate species. The reason for this is that politicians, barring some extremely rare and notable examples, all display a similar demeanor, attitude, and activity regardless of their origins. Pompousness, a lack of consideration, a certain quality of elitism or holier-than-thou thought processes. And as such, all politicians all act the same way. Like assholes. Every politician seems to operate under the same hive mind of the concept of power and its addictive nature. And even the most nicest or kindest of individuals can fall prey to this concept and become complete assholes seemingly overnight, with few exceptions. Each politician seems to be under the same delusion of power saturating grandeur on achieving a seat of power. Therefore, this petition hereby exists to reclassify any and all politicians as their own species in order to properly open their behavior to scrutiny and necessary ridicule. We, the people. I looked up at him. He simply smiled down at me. I signed the document and he retrieved the data pad. Both of us looked at each other for a bit, then burst into a fit of hysterical laughter. After a while, we said goodbye and would likely meet up later for drinks after work. That right there was the only time a human did anything that actually made sense. Well, not the only time, actually, but that, for me at least, was the best one.